Through this video tutorial, I will try to show you how you can access your Synology network attached storage home server from anywhere using a domain. First of all, if you look at the top, you will see that I am connected to my server using a local IP. In this case, my router's IP is showing as 10.10.30.2, and an extension number is also displayed. So now, I will show you how you can access your server using a domain instead of this local IP address. To accomplish this, we first need a domain name, and we have to park that domain in Cloudflare. I will try to make a separate video covering this entire process. However, today, I will only show you how to connect your local server using Cloudflare. For this, we will first go to the Package Center and install the Cloudflare Tunnel app. While installing Cloudflare Tunnel, it will ask for a Cloudflare Tunnel token. We will obtain this token from the Cloudflare website. To get the Cloudflare Tunnel token, first, go to the Cloudflare homepage. Then, scroll down and click on Zero Trust. Inside Zero Trust, navigate to the Network section. From there, you will need to create a Tunnel token. Once you are here, you need to select Cloudflared and then give your tunnel a name. After that, you will see a token provided below. From there, you can copy the token. Make sure to copy only the token itself, removing everything up to the install command. Now, from here, you will click Next, then follow the method I showed and after that, click Next again. When you reach this step, go to the confirmation settings and click Done. Up to this point, your work is complete. Here, you will see that the Cloudflare tunnel installation process has started. Later, when you log into the Cloudflare panel, you will see a connected ID, and next to it, the status will show as connected. This confirms that the installation has been successfully completed. The next step is to link your local IP with your domain. In this case, you will do this using a subdomain. By following the method I showed, you can easily complete the process. Here, you will select or enter a supplement, then choose your selection from there. Next, select the IP where your Synology NAS is located and click Save Tunnel. At this point, your setup should be successfully completed. Now, using this subdomain, you will be able to access your server. That's all for today. I will see you again in another video, possibly next week. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment box.